So you're are you you're still you're the founder of Annapurna Living, right? Yeah. And which is so cool. It's a lifestyle brand designed to empower women through mindfulness, meditation, and devotion. Um, how often? How how much do you work on that? It started out kind of mother centered. Now it's not so much. It's just really more woman centered and about like connecting to yourself and not looking outside of yourself for the answers and not thinking like somebody else is going to like tell you how to live your life, that you have all the answers, like just bringing women back home to like knowing that they're enough and that, that no one else knows them better than themselves. And that, yeah, you may need support and help here and there, but ultimately if that support and help is not helping you to go back home into your own self, then it's not really helping. You know what I mean? So, so we, um, have conversations on different themes um, I've done this for seven years. I used to, hold, I've, I hold a monthly call, um, kind of like a circle. Now I do it only four times a year, but I did it every month on the full moon for almost seven years. Even when I was promoting the matrix, like I had all these women and we would just talk about like the messiness of life and like, listen, I don't have it figured out. I'm not an expert, but I'm sure like into like exploring and we use poetry, we use writing prompts um, just to connect because the life is, life is so distracting and there's so much um, pull from the self and into like all these different, you know, labels and like you did that and arguments and like sides. It's like, we need people who like are connected to themselves. And when you're connected to yourself, you know what you need and you know how to show up. And so that's what I do. And, um, yeah, it's been a real labor of love for me. Um, it's made me grow a lot and making all the videos and stuff, um, and holding space. I love to hold space for other people's growth, not because I know the answer, but I know how to hold space. And, I love doing that. So it's um, something that I'm not afraid of. I'm not afraid of that.